wigs have a lot of power these days. I got bored, okay? People get bored. Anyways, it's glued on. Don't know if you noticed. If you didn't notice until I said it, yay. Felt nostalgic because I used to have this color of hair multiple times. <laughs> we finished the first nine episodes of JoJo. And then came it came to my realization that it's kind of arc based. I don't know in what sense, but it is interesting about wigs. It's like you can literally change how a person looks completely with just a wig. Nice. The fuck? So I've been JoJo free for two weeks. Boy, did I miss it. Episode 10? Let's get into it. I'm too excited to wait any longer. <gasps> no! I'm not sure why, but I thought that, like, that was barren. I don't know why I thought that. Like, it, I can see now that after they said it, but for some reason my mind just went straight to barren because he kind of adapted his aesthetic <laughs> he's doing something other than commentating <sighs> baron's really gone isn't he i just hope this new generation is like strazo and speedwagon because i can get on that wagon faster than i can push play Ooh. i like dredge <laughs> They look so badass now. <laughs> Hordes of them. <laughs> so, for y'all that have watched all of them, you couldn't tell me there was more than one and just let me calm down. I'm feeling betrayed as I watch it and people don't tell me what happens, but then I'm like, no spoilers, guys. But at the same time, I'm like, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> I don't even think I've used the L word in this, other than to say that I love Dio and Baron and stuff, you know? But in terms of the whole series, well not the whole series, but this part of the series, I'm loving it so far because Jojo's not there. It's sad that Dio's not there, but it doesn't say he's dead, so maybe he'll show up and be nice and old and crispy. <laughs> no, you're not a nice guy. He pulled like a Les Mis moment saying, oh, I gave it to him. <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> I like this character. So far I'm liking it. And I hope that those two can actually be friends, but they'll probably be rivals. Or maybe they'll be friends. But I still want to know who the rival is now. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting another anime reference vibe. Umaru. I'm getting Umaru vibes from this person. And ah, my damn temper. I'm interested. How many JoJo's are there? Is this like Doctor Who? Like who? Like what's going on? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> he does have the pan on power, but since Jojo was too ignorant to tell Arena about his power, she can't really pass on the knowledge. She doesn't know much about it, so he's kind of like, oh, I've always been able to do it. And my late grandpa could do it, even though it's not blood related. 
but now it has to be if it was passed on. But then again, does that mean Baron had a child and he just gave up his child? Like, what am I even saying? Like, maybe Jojo passed on his powers to the baby right before he self-destructed. I'm sure it'll explain itself as it goes on. Hmm. Pilot who died in the war. We don't have to deal with Jonathan, but we're, we've got Joseph Joestar. Okay, so now I understand this anime. It's just the, the Joestar name being passed down. Joseph Joestar sounds a lot better than Jonathan Joestar. Just gonna point that out. And he seems a lot more badass. And I'm still a little bit confused on, like, who this guy's parents are and where they went. It seems like everyone with powers, their parents suddenly die and we don't find out where they really came from. Maybe it's kind of like babies on ships when they're about to explode. This is what happens. Joseph Joseph. I like Joseph Joseph. Does that automatically mean he's going to die at the end? <laughs> Joseph Joestar. <laughs> I see that the boy's already got a reputation. Oh, is his hair purple? That's so cute. Maybe it's the person that changed Theo into a vampire. Finally a Jojo I can resonate with a little bit. I like this Jojo. I don't like the other Jojo. I'm glad he's dead. He's done. We got through him. Let's hope I don't have to see that one ever again. So I hope he takes Jojo's powers and I hope he uses them on whichever side he wants because I, I like his character. It seems whatever side makes sense. They'll probably want him on the good side but if Dio's still alive and you wanted to side with him, I'd be okay with that too. Humongous improvement from part one. Don't tell him to calm down. <laughs> yes, there was. <laughs> I love him so much, I don't want him to die. I never thought I'd say it, but I love Jojo. This Jojo, I love J Joseph. It's like so funny. The contrast between these two Jojos is just so real for me. Also, that would just be me in the situation. I would just be like, we're jumping. I'm going to crash the plane. We're going to jump. Like so impulsive. It's basically me. I can finally resonate with Jojo and that makes me so happy. I'm so to it. Wait a minute. So if Speedwagon is family, just like Arena is family. Is Speedwagon this kid's daddy -o? And Arina is the grandmother? But Jojo was um, younger than Speedwagon, so that would really make sense. <laughs> Nothing's making sense. But I don't think it's supposed to. <laughs> so matter of fact. That was pretty heavy. Stray though is the Dio in part two and I'm totally fine with that. Now that I like both of them, it's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. And I'm curious if Speedway is dead now, which would suck. And I'm also curious if we're ever going to show Arena again. She's mentioned so many times this episode, give her an appearance or something. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. 
enjoy it so. Yes, he has. True, that makes sense. Oh, Finally, someone says it. I'm really liking this plot twist, and I'm loving, loving, loving part two. I just hope it stays. I'm really liking it, and I like that Straza is actually the bad guy, and he was he was the good guy, and it is possible for them to switch sides. It's like my wishes are coming true. Let's hope they don't get destroyed again. <laughs> a rival with a rival. <laughs> Poor speed wagon. Always commentating. <laughs> Can we talk about how Arena suddenly looks like really strict and very hostile? Which is understandable, like she's been treated very poorly this whole anime and I feel bad for her. Having to put all of this on her shoulders and Jojo just had no, no passion for her at all. Dio showed more passion for her than Jojo ever did and they were married, so just saying. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Aww, he's cute. Jojo, <laughs> Arina has always been so easily fooled. That's what I want to know too, like... <laughs> Smokey's like, why are you asking such personal questions? Exactly what I'm thinking. Widow. <laughs> I like this Jojo so much. <laughs> Smokey is smart. He's like, why did they all, why do all the men in this family die so young? It's because they usually get themselves into more than they can handle. I never thought I would love Jojo. I never thought I would love him, but I do. I'm just thinking of all the people that have, that knew and hid it from me right now. That's one way to put it. <laughs> that kindness got him in trouble. What have I been saying? This Jojo gets it. He's like, oh, that one's dead. This, I'm the new one. It's my show now. That's so rude. Aww. I love how he's just... <laughs> He's like, don't stop me, Granny. I love that Jojo's character is has a very avant-garde way of looking at this. And the Granny's like, you gotta be, you gotta stay in line and stay in your own business. And he's like, no, 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 no. Injustice is my business. <laughs> so much better than the other Jojo. Like, so much better. It's like Jojo. It's all the bugs fixed. <laughs> I like Arena now. <laughs> Creepy dude. <laughs> oh, he's a magician? <laughs> Oh. So he's like really smart and really edgy and I hope this one doesn't get married. <laughs> She's not glad to meet you. Speed 
love how Jojo, as soon as he finds out it's a monk, he's like, it has to be Stryza, or it can't be anyone else. There's no other monks in the world that would ever kill Speedwagon. Really like him. This Jojo is a gentleman. He protects his granny and it's so cute and he's got this edgy side. Why couldn't I have just started from episode 10? Like, had I known this was gonna happen, I would have rather done that. Not that I didn't love Baron and Dio, it was just the old Jojo really deserved to die and this Jojo I hope he doesn't die or if he does die I hope he does it in a badass way Aww. Aww, poor Arina. that's so cute but finally Arina gets a guy that she deserves but he's so much younger than her not that they would they're just a cute like dynamic I guess I love that. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> love how he said, if it's my fate, I'll accept it. Like, I didn't like how Baron gave his powers to Jojo just because it was his fate. This Jojo is like, if it turns out that way, it turns out that way, basically. Doesn't mean he doesn't believe it's going to be his fate. He's just like, if that's my fate, if that's my fate, you know? He just... He's just going, whereas Jojo was just treading water. <laughs> Is that Strizo in the window? Jojo's funny and cute and edgy and I love it. And he's considerate. Something that the other Jojo never was. I'm just really glad that the old Jojo's gone, and I hope he stays gone forever. Stryzo? Stryzo! You do? It's Stryzo. He's younger because he's a vampire now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor Smokey. They're making it look like Stryzo's dead, but for him to die that fast after becoming a vampire would be kind of pointless. So I hope he's not dead. I don't mind if he does get killed by Jojo because I like this Jojo, but he should put up a bit more of a fight before being dead now that he's undead. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, he's crying. To be continued. Wow, that was a trip. That was something I wasn't even expecting. It was like a whole new anime. Part one felt like to me. It was like an intro course, like introduction to Jojo. And then from here on, it's like the actual eventful parts. I'm really excited and I might even film more than one episode this week because I'm anxious to see if Strazo survives or Strazo. Strazo, 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 Strazo. And I love Jojo. I never thought I'd say that, but I do. I love Jojo. I love Dio. I love Joseph, not Jonathan. Joseph. Great. It's a continuation. Great new characters, great old Jojo is gone, and it seems that there's more and more stuff to come, and now Arina's role is actually quite interesting now that she has aged, and it's England in the 30s, it's like a big time, so it's very interesting seeing that. I like it, it's funny, it's dark, it's edgy, it's got, now it's got a little bit of backstory, and I hope that it actually continues to be this good. Is this the persona connection people were talking about? How there's multiple personas named Jonathan? Or not Jonathan. That there's multiple personas 
named Jojo in this show. That's basically the premise, I guess. That's not really a spoiler. Why didn't anyone tell me that? I don't know. I guess I didn't clarify what spoilers mean. To me, spoilers are just, like, plot twists that, like, are very essential if a character has a twin, which sometimes they do. That's a spoiler. Whether an anime is in poor taste or if it's, like, mature, that's not a spoiler. That's just information, like, facts about it that don't spoil the plot. Feel free to comment them. Even if I said something and it wasn't true, I want you to clarify. Correct the fuck out of me. Because I'm on this train now. Or this wagon. I am on this train now. And I'm not going to stop anytime soon. So, yeah. I'm pretty motivated to start editing episode 9. And then being done with that Jojo. And start editing this one. And maybe even filming another one tomorrow. Don't want to get ahead of myself, but... I really enjoyed it. It's very good. It's very therapeutic still. And not because it's laughable in a dumb way. It's laughable in a just a, a genuine like trickster kind of way. Tiki, <laughs> see what I did there? Thank you for watching me. I hope the wig wasn't too distracting, but if it was, I am not sorry. Because it, yeah, it's distracting, I know. So if you liked this video and you want me to continue or because um, after season one, I won't be continuing the reactions because I'll probably want to just binge season two. And yeah, so I'm only doing this until the end of season one. So I'm trying to think of other animes or TV shows that I could react to. So if you have any ideas of shows you would like to see me react to that I haven't seen, try commenting them and... There's a big chance that I have seen it, but there's also a chance that I have not, or have only seen a little bit of it, and might give it a second chance. And if you liked my video, just like it. Like, it's just a button. I'd really appreciate it if you did. And I would appreciate it even more if you subscribed and did all the YouTube crap. <laughs>